Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and we're continuing on with this 53 Beetle restoration with the heater channels and um, as you can see here we're all braced up as usual like before and we test fit it down as we did last time to see where the channels line up. Uh, you can see those cross members are gone in the back now and this is where you're going to be welding the front pillars and also the rear quarters. So we're just kind of looking to get it down right now and just kind of position it up like we did last time a lot of trial and error to refit it we had to do that new front firewall there as you can see as you see we're just trying to line everything up if you don't have a lift you like I said you could probably have two guys in the front and two guys in the rear lift it up and down to uh, position it down on the chassis now too remember we had to put these accordion uh, heat tubes on the heater channels and originally they had these and this is what you know shoots heat up into the windshield so these heater channels didn't have these the connection so we had to make our own and now we're just kinda making sure as we bring the car down you gotta do this one shot here because once you start welding you can't take the body back off so um, we're just getting the tubes back into the pillar there where they rest and then we'll make a connection to continue uh, upward and then here's the uh, rear cross member that they sell on the market today. Now keep in mind this is not year specific, so there's a lot of finagling that you got to have to do, a lot of reworking, reshaping sometimes, uh, just because they're not year specific. So just be careful of that. And you can see we're ready to start welding. And uh, Serio here is just using a regular stick welder. And right now just doing some touches just to tack it in and get some positioning. And then eventually he'll start putting a, a thicker bead on and you know eventually you'll what you'll have to do is once the bead is there you might have to go in there with a grinding wheel just to kind of grind it down so it looks nice now he's doing the same with the rear quarter where that meets the channel He's just tacking it up right now. Okay. And you're gonna have to work your way down a bit until it starts meeting the quarter. And you see it gets a little hammer here just to make sure the weld is strong so it doesn't break. A couple more little tacks. A little bit better shot there for you. Hit it again, see if it's strong. Now he's going into the quarter. Again, just doing a couple little tacks. That's what they did in the factory. They just did a few tacks. They really didn't do a big, long bead, just because that would have warped the metal and would have heated up too much. But as you can see here, he's using a clamp here to keep the quarter tight against the heat channel. The back of the heat channels, when you buy them, they're hollow. So you can get a clamp back there as long as your uh, cross member is out of the way. You can get a clamp back there to hold the quarter panel close to the heat channel. So now he can start banging those tabs under the quarter closer to the channel and then start tacking up again. Okay. Now there's this bead that he made in the front pillar there. Again, it doesn't have to look too pretty right now. You can get in there with a you know, a grinder and kind of grind that away to make it look smooth. And you can see here he's just tacking up the rear quarter to the channel. And then once you do it to this side, then you just jump over to the other side. And you'll know, just do the same exact thing. It's also a good time if you wanted to maybe try putting a door on to make sure the door closes correctly while you have the heat channel just tacked on not fully welded because once you're fully welded then you can't really you have to recut it out and re-weld it but as you can see this is kind of the f almost the finished product there you know nice strong bead he put down nice tacks under the quarter and eventually you just grind those down <laughs> Beep, beep.